Hello and welcome to Sav Exclusive. I am your host Natasha Brown and on this particular episode we'll be speaking with one of Nigeria's foremost gospel artists. He is absolutely sensational as it is at his craft. So definitely this is an interview you really really want to listen to because it will be very insightful and entertaining at the same time. So stay tuned and yeah. All right. So on today's episode, like I said earlier, he's absolutely sensational as it goes. Yes, we have on set today, sensational Bami Daily. Yeah, God bless you. Good to see you again. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. It hi. is interesting having you here. I mean, I have <clears throat> been at your concerts. I have been, I mean, I have experienced you live severally. Really? You... <laughs> Yes, really. <laughs> you are absolutely sensational. Like the Glory to God. I don't know how you do it. Your energy is on another level. Wow. Your energy is on another level. It, you know how they say God level? It's oh amazing. My God. It's amazing. Yes, I, I must commend you for that. So let's just get right into the interview real quick. Why the name Sensational? Where did it come from, Sensational Barmadili? Because before... Before you told me what your own name was, I didn't even really know. So. Oh, really? Sensational, where does that come from? Um, I think um, Sensational came in from um, most of the fans. Okay. Yeah, um, I remember very, very, you know, it's been a decade. Um, I met a fan and who was like, God, this was absolutely phenomenal. I sat under your performance. And what I got was something else. It is absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. And as on today, till the day, he leaves the earth. May he so rest in peace. He has left already. He said, Aww. you are nothing else but sensational Bambi Dele. And I like the name. I do too. And I'm sure a lot of us do because I mean, the first time I heard the name, I'm like, you're just a proud person. Why do you just say you're sensational, but actually you are? <laughs> <laughs> so that, that is interesting. And then I got to understand your actual name is Adeko. Did I get it right? Adeko. Adeko. Bamidili. <laughs> Bamidili. Where are you originally from, actually? River State. You are from River State? Okrika. And you're partly kidding. Yoruba. Okay, I, I will not attempt to do that. I don't want to, I don't want to <laughs> attempt it. And that's why I had to put it away. Oh my God. But, but that is interesting because every time I hear Bami Dele, I'd actually think that you were Yoruba, but then I wonder how you do all that you do. You speak in several languages, you sing in different languages. Is that like a gift? Or it's just, that's just how you are? It's a gift. And God gave me that gift personally. To speak in other tongues. <laughs> <laughs> because you know he is too big a god for me mm -hmm. to speak in just one language to communicate with him he is too big a god for me to communicate with him with a style or a swag mm -hmm. i try to give him everything right everything i mean everything do you spend time trying to learn other languages or is just i spend a lot of time too mm -hmm. and i am not tired of learning from so many persons too right yeah. Interesting, because most time I, I wonder how you do that. But then something interesting about you is you actually used to be a secular artist. I mean, I did not see that coming. You used to be a secular artist. Let's hear more about that. Yeah. You know, I, I was born into a family who loves God. The foundation and everything is God, 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 and God all. My late grandparents made us so rest in peace. Um, late Pa Evans Ni Aseme and his lovely wife, Lady Ni Aseme. I was born by an Okrika woman okay. with a Yoruba daddy. Oh, interesting. No, a Yoruba father. <laughs> and, you know, then when the life became so hard, we had to go to Granny's place mm. where they could at least take care of us and mommy could just look for her fifth because it was not really polygamy. It was a dating bird. Mm. I don't know if you understand that. Not, not quite sure. Okay, daddy, that, daddy wasn't married to my mommy. Right. Yeah, right. they just had kids. Yeah, so oh, okay. he left for another woman. Hmm. And um, not that my mom wasn't beautiful. Not that no. wasn't, she wasn't blessed. <laughs> it was just one of those things, I mean. Yeah, so 
and that was how it was. And we were brought up with um, the grannies, and it was an amazing time. So at that point in music, it was all true gospel. But when we had legs to move, we needed to look for a place where we can increase the knowledge. Mm. So where you can increase the knowledge might not necessarily be in church, because then the church will pack their equipment and keep inside the vestry. But when you go to the club, you see it all set up. So you find your friends, you all rehearse, and you do some shit. And after that, you perform for the club free because they give to you what you cannot find easily. Mm. And that could even bring you to Which most of the... Which actually the equipment. Yes, all that yes. Stuff. Then, you know, we're not looking for money. We just need to be good at what we do. So practicing your craft on you the You understand road. what we're saying? Mm. So you, you, you find out that in the whole day you're practicing. If you don't practice, you're somewhere in the backyard with a friend playing on the box guitar or on the mamba or whatever you want to play with. Or sometime in the church. And the church could be even against your belief. Yeah. And, How uh, so? Yeah. How so? Probably I'm an Anglican okay. or I'm a Catholic. And you found out that, look, um, where you had this equipment and where you have um, a full suite environment for rehearsals is in the Cherubim or the Seraphim or oh, the Seller okay. Church. Oh, and, okay. you know, okay. we weren't even seeing all of that. We just need the sound. So even at that time, we see sound for Shrine. We forgot that. <laughs> The main thing was to just play the music. <laughs> and when you play the music, you still sing, We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. You know? But when you get to the club and you find out that Nadia, what you do is, I stop and share at you, walking down the shore. You must have to. So you have to be fluid. Everywhere. All you need is get the craft mastered. Get it adequately into your system and be the boss then you can choose where mm. to move my case might be different someone else's case too could be different but for my case i was moving health scared to just get i didn't want to know sometimes i just want the instrument i don't want to be here the word of god okay now that that is interesting okay. how would you how would you just want to hear the music I don't necessarily want to hear the word of God. I was, born, I was born in a family where every morning by 5 a.m. You were you hearing the word of pray. God. Oh, right. We do that every day as long as the parents I had lived. So you already had that part on lockdown. So, so now when I'm supposed to play music and you want to preach, I just got <laughs> of the church for you. When you finish preaching and they say there's offering time, if I'm not too far, I run back. Right. The main thing is to just enjoy the sound. Mm. So you've always been musical. Musical all my life. Right from my mother child. told me from seven. Hmm. Interesting. So it's always been a thing of passion and you just flowed right into it. Did the you passion, study any form of music? Not at all. No. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm an illiterate professional musician. Right. But you, you were doing so massively well. Uh, because God gave it to me directly. Right. So there are some persons who learn from inspirations. Hmm why some will learn through the book at that point we weren't looking for money we weren't looking for ends you know all we needed was music because when you travel from here to probably Arochukundu the person you're just joining to just go do some good music with could just give you a tin of milk and 1000 naira or 500 naira that would have been disappointing no 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 not at all i won't eat again and again mm. just because you're good they don't think twice when such a thing comes up. Right. You go there, you make them proud. They come back, they wait for another one to make you go make them proud again. So it started just like that till when it got to a point when the owner... Where you were big. When enough. the owner of everything came and said, Hey, guy, it's not time to be distracted anymore. Mm. You have to give it to me and give it to my throne. Mm. I never knew that I had those charisma then until when I started giving it to him. I started seeing changes, things I wouldn't want to do naturally for man. I did it to God oh. and I've never had any regret. Okay, so it's it's something, something something interesting about you is, you know, 
your foray into gospel artistry so because i remember backstage i asked you how was i supposed to introduce you because some artists you meet them especially like when they're doing gospel but you ask them oh how should i introduce you or how should i you know talk about you and they say just call me an artist you don't <laughs> necessarily have to sectionalize me or put me in a particular genre but you typically stand and you say that i'm a gospel artist why so doesn't it limit you in a type of way or well um I don't know. Um, like I told you, the way I came out of music or the way I came into music might not be the way or the kind. Um, one of my challenges then was I was the only one, I became the only one later in the family who does music because my elder brother, my uncle, was later called to the pulpit to become the pastor. So um, that was how it was. Now, most of my friends, they have their their, their senior brothers, they have their uncles, they have everybody, and they have the equipment. So every week you see them, they are better off than you. So I had to double my game to make sure I don't look inferior. Mm. Do you get it? Yeah. Now, to this point, I have had my own fair share of this hustle and came to notice that there's this mercy that I'm not worth having that has been given to me by a God I've not seen, but I just believe. Right. And he communicates strongly. I am proud of him everywhere I go to. I am a gospel artist. I love that. Not a slash musician. I am Fully. a gospel artist, but in my own gospel artistry, you will see different classes and genres of music as a musician. Right. Or you say a gospel musician but we had knowledge of all the genres of music if you ask who are my role model i could just tell you um michael bobo lena ricci i could tell you um what's my prophet's name um luciano i can tell you um um um, um the, 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 the country classes we're listening to, um, um, you, you know them. So, I, I just want to see them and um, after listening, all my life you have been faithful. And sometimes too, I want to listen. L is for the way you look at me. I, I don't do, then, I, part, okay, one of my, 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 my mentors too is the late Cardinal General Slassen. I played alongside with most of his band members like late Prince David Bo, Gerardo Pino, King Sonny Brown, all that, and that's so rest in peace. A lot of ideologies got into this head that it would take grace for somebody mm. eh? to do it the way I do it. You know, it's it's interesting that you mentioned that if I were to ask you your role models, you would call on Orichi and Michael Bublé and all of that. It's interesting because I'm like, you were gospel. Yeah. These are not gospel artists. God bless you. So how does that work? It has, to, it has to work because that's what God wants me to do. Right. Yeah. If you ask who is my best gospel artist that I want to list it to, I just tell you Nathan Abbasi, I don't think far. Oh, okay. Even I could even tell you, um, Adejo, this new old, is my younger brother, Adejo. And I, I, I listened to um, uh, Moses Bliss too. That's interesting. Those are actually interesting artists. Yeah, I, 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 I listened to people who can, mm, a little from my sister, Mercy. Okay, that's Mercy Judy. Yes, I love, um, um, what's her name, Judy? Judy K. I kind of okay. music. There are some music it's that could just keep that. me going. Natural, I'm an African musician. I like the African songs. I just like them. The high life, the samba, the mamba, the salsa, the bold sandovas, the jara. But you sing gyration song today. Somebody who does not have the knowledge is telling you is a <laughs> Because music is deep. People just want to learn, but they don't want to go through the theories. Mm. You don't want to go through the process. You just want to know. But God has given us the gift to just see and learn without even knowing what you're learning. 
Right. But when it's time for you to express, mm. you now know the need why you need to learn. So, something really funny about you, not funny per se, but trickily interesting, mm. uh, was, you know, backstage when we were talking, then you, you talked about a time where you actually would play gospel music in the club. So, people are drinking, people are partying, and the next thing you hear, uh, you hear like a, a part gospel of, part, song. Part, and... part of my stance. <laughs> Spiritual stance. How does that work? It works so good. In fact, I started doing it while I was still an unbeliever, still playing secular music. I used to shut stadium down when I'm in stadiums. I mean stadium fully, like fully packed. And today I do it in almost all events. So the highest you do is to bring a DJ. Because sensational mm -hmm. is I will do it the high life way that you want to you will not even want to you listen will, to us and you will turn up to that. Do you get it? Yeah. So it is wisdom and it is profitable to that. Hmm. And that has been directed. That, that, that is really peculiar that you would say that because, you know, um, recently there was an interview by the gospel artist, um, so to speak, um, Spyro. And, um, you know, he was talking. Spyro, not a gospel artist? <laughs> oh, yeah. Who's your friend? Not yeah. only well, you, my well, guy. Yeah. An artist that identifies as gospel spiritual. Oh, amazing. Okay, but, but that's not the point. That's I, not the I, point. I love the guy, man. I love him. The point I, I like is, his song. The point is. Um, there, there was an interview he had and he talked about um, artists like Charlie Pooper and their songs um, shouldn't be eulogized or shouldn't be um, promoted because they're um, so, somewhat promoting, um, you know, a fraudulent lifestyle. But he got castigated for that. He got talked over, you know, because of that. And they said, oh, you did um, a collaboration with Tiwa Savage. You could have done it with Choma Jesus or Mercy Chingwa. But no, you chose a secular artist. So why are you trying to also, you know, make it look like the secular artist shouldn't be listened to? You know, but here you are also talking about bringing the light into the world and all that. How can we marry... That if you ask yeah. me, who is Tiwa Savage? Is she a demon because she's a secular musician? <laughs> a lady who is a secular musician, but before she goes out to minister her secularity, she goes to her altar to call. You are the king above all the earth. Kabio CEO. When she acknowledges the king of glory, who has given diverse knowledge to every personality, she is not to be condemned. That's her onions, and it is pain through the grace of God. Interesting. The Bible says a man's way make it, a man's talent make it way for him. Isn't it? Right. And it will add no sorrow. He did not say a man gospel music or a man secular music. But you know me, I'm against when secular music becomes vulgar. Mm. Okay. I, 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 I'm against it. I don't even listen to, to, vulgar, to songs. vulgar songs or the party thing, you know. this. But there are some party songs that are truly interesting. Right. The, the other one sang, I'll be rich till I die. <laughs> it's it's so prophecy. Is, <laughs> that is prophecy. Hallelujah. Right? Hallelujah. Then look at Asake, Asake's uh, other song. Money, man. Uh, 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 my daughter will sing it for me. My, my dear, I don't know them, but when I hear them, I, I, I move my feet. It's interesting most of them to know that are, you actually hear those songs. I, most gospel artists do not listen to secular music. Right. They should have their reason. Mm. Me, I might not want to listen to it, but if I pass and then play them, the ear is here, it does not have door. I will just, mm -hmm. if it's not good, I walk away. If it is good, I will listen. Okay, so let, let's just let me just take you a little bit away from you know gospel artistry and all of that. Okay, you being Wiki's backup <laughs> singer. Now that is Wiki an artist? That, no, <laughs> for me to be his backup singer. No, but literally, we we almost at that point in time, Nigerians <sighs> almost saw him as an upcoming artist because oh my God. at every every time he was to um, um, commission a project. He just keys in one note and you just come in and we are all vibing to that. So 
question is because at that point in time you do you, you were giving nigerians joy my god we were excited we wanted to hear every time we came up we wanted to where's the backup single what's going on what are we going to hear next and the next we hear something like as it is sweet or see the pain. I see the pain there with the sweet or <laughs> Yeah. So first things first, how did you come about that and what was that whole process like? Okay, in That's um curious. in um twenty fifteen when Wiki came on board, if you were um you know um if you were you know attentive enough to know how he came into government you know he was fighting here and there mm -hmm. to become who he was and so many persons would not want him to become who he was and then so when he finally became the governor it was like make it pepper them do you understand right. so he was moving and moving and uh, finally he started 100 days in office and i would always hear him say when we walk finish, we go chop. Melembe, melembe. <laughs> you don't carry and put for head. I'm an artist. I'm not a politician. So what I do is to make sure I make a song. I, because I see the pain them, it is sweet. sweet us. I see the pain them, it is sweet us. So one day I decided, okay. There's something here. Let me see what I can do. I came to the to the house. I said, I see the pain them. It is sweet. No, no. I see deep. And I bust into, I bust into, I see deep. It is sweet. Us. I see they sweet. Us. So that was, that was the jam. first time he danced. That was a jam. I could remember that Wiki is always a ha 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 man. Yeah. But for the first time he danced was at this um, traditional county river, river state uh, hosted. Okay. He, the river state government hosted. Okay. And when I shot, your name is Yahweh. And the man just went back. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. So this guy too, if he Do dance. Do know the dance? <laughs> this guy, if he dance, you know, so he can dance. Yeah. But you know, in this life, when you make things like this happen, when you throw stones like this, mm. when God blesses you with stones like this, right. your enemies become becomes wild. Multiplied. The, you know, the envy becomes so envious, you know, mm. and obvious rather. So, and after that, when I did that song, it became a national... And, uh, and when he does something, he makes a statement. I could put the statement together and just hit it. Okay, so... You know, you, you want to come back for something. You do your best, you understand? I love that. I mean, there's so much to get from you, but we'll just go on a short break yeah, and we'll time. be right back. Welcome back. Okay, so we're still with Sensational Bamadele, one of Nigeria's foremost gospel artists. He is absolutely sensational, as the name goes. All right, so before we went on the short break, we were talking about that, your big hit. I said, it's sweet us, ego, ego, the pain there. But wait, 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 before I get into that again, um, Timaya actually made a song out of this. He made a song. It was, it was a vibey song. And I don't know, did you have copyright issues? Because I heard that song and I'm like, this is sensational. Now, so, let me let me be open for the first time. Right. I, you know, I, I don't know you people, but I've been talking with you all for a long time, you know. But I'll be, I'm, a, I'm a very sincere and a fearless young man. Okay. Timaya is a friend. Oh. Not, not really that friend, but he's a successful Niger Delta musician. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate mm -hmm. God for him. Mm -hmm. But because I'm a gospel artist... Yeah. I had a heat. But in the light where I had this heat, knowing it was God who provided this heat, mm -hmm. I didn't make use of it because of the fear of what will my colleagues say as a gospel artist. I lost the heat to Timaya. Right. How so? What the, this whole time? Timaya called me. He said, brother, he called me. Okay. He said, brother, I beg, that song, I won't do it. I want to remix her. Mm. 
And when I remix them, before I shoot or do anything further, I go pay for them. Oh, I say, no, 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 no worry. Don't pay too much. You can do anything you want to do with it. Just send me 30 million. I just who oh, take do my other gospel hits very well. It's okay, no problem. I go reach it through my manager. Okay. I said, okay, no problem. Before I could knew it, the song has been shot. To my alpha, you know, so I did busy. I did Yankee, I did here. If I raise alarm, so many people will be against me. Right. So many people will be against him. And I was not caught out of it. And it was in that period I had the accident. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That Where I somersaulted for over eight times with my team in the car. We lost some soul out there that even had a clash with us. Wow. So wow. in that same, you know, when they look for Timaya or they look for manager, say them good. But it, it is unfortunate. I protect your interest, you don't want to protect mine, and you think uh, you've gotten a hit. That hit will not even pay a space for me in heaven. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It's just an earthly hit here. Yeah. God is the giver of hits. He will give. At his own time, he makes it beautiful. But my happiness is the world knows I did. Right, right. And to tomorrow, I will still do it. It was when I was now cancelled by some elderly gospel and say God gave you something, you gave it out. It was a meat, but you threw it out. Mm. Imagine that hit with a little video with my governor. Mm. How it have been today. Yes. But I was just it's scared that like, you oh, is a political thing and you're a gospel artist because of what people will think about you. Mm. And I learned my lesson. You learned to never hard. ever think of what they think. Do your mistake. Learn from your mistake. And do the risk. Moving. Win or you lose. Interesting. To God's glory. Interesting. But at the end of the day, um, something that I really like that you said is you've learned your lessons. Yeah. That's one. Number two, God is the giver of hits. So you're still going to get more. You know, I mean, it's originally your idea. Uh, if, if, he, if he was a gospel artist, I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> I would have used five of his hits eh, to sing gospel songs. Right. Yeah. Is what I can. I was born for it. Do you understand? Yeah. But, you know, I can't fight my brother. No, I won't do it. I'll be always be happy for him. Right. The other day he saw me, he said, leave me, leave me. I don't tiff your song. Leave me, leave me. I don't. But don't be so now. Who tell you I don't need the money? Right. Right. Well, and, uh, uh, hopefully he comes around because I know that he's as well was a hit. So hopefully he comes around and does the needful um, in brotherly love. <laughs> At the end of the day. I don't have a problem. <laughs> I don't have a problem. All right. So um, I just get to ask you this. Let's just call it a bit somber. But that particular accident that happened, that was, I mean, I remember that day I, I was in my house and then I'm just seeing updates on my status. Rest in peace everywhere. And I'm like, <laughs> I, the me. first thing that came to my mind was, oh my God, no, 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 not again. Mm. Not again. After Uncle Sammy. Not again. And then, um, but news unfolded <laughs> that, okay, no, he's not dead. I'm like, okay. Glory to but God. we saw Father, the car, we saw the car, and Jesus. I'm like, oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. So, let's, let's just hear more about that whole period. What actually happened? It was nothing. The true story. It was nothing. You know, I accompanied uh, His Excellency for uh, a commission in a project. Mm -hmm. It's a road. And um, the road was as, like, I, the road could literally remind me of Buckingham Palace. If you've been in London before and you pass through Buckingham, you see the yellow lines, the red lines, the blue lines, and you see the, the ash fat, it's even red, a London color, you know. I was like, whoa, what a road. But little did I know the road was a bit tiny, a bit small which which one was this which particular somewhere around after I more access okay so i was trying to run ahead with excitement the holy spirit bears me witness mm -hmm. so much excitement i was trying you to run ahead i was okay i was trying to run ahead for another event the next day because when his excellency's convoy comes in the whole road will be choked up and you know how chuba could be mm -hmm. so i left the place 
the first match sometimes most of these things are really orchestrated by the enemy yeah. just to shut somebody down immediately a match i never knew somebody too was thinking the same thing ah this road was sweet like this oh, right. only to find out that there wasn't a dev there was a devil's elbow and um no speed bomb and um we needed to have that sharp bend together for ourselves mm. so you can imagine me struggling to sharp bend and okada man is struggling to sharp bend with two passengers at the back himself and one passenger on top of his tank so i did yeah. all my best to avoid to swerve, them yeah. mm. while i was avoiding them they still came Ooh. by the side of my fender and my door mm. and that was how I my dear the rest were history oh. um, they lost their lives only one of them survived out of the four wow. I checked in the back seat two of my boys were alive the one in front sustained arm injury myself I was brutally well, I caught. I saw the pictures. I was brutally I was, caught. I saw like the pictures. I was brutally caught. My head was chamfered. You know, and um, to God be the glory. All I was hearing is, give me praise. Give me praise. So I was wow. literally uncomfortable in the hospital. I was having trauma. I, oh. I switched up my phones, my everything. The villagers came, took me to where I could be stitched up because one of part of my body was actually leaking out my blood. And wow. um, they took me to somewhere I could stitch because they didn't believe I would be alive, you know. Mm. Brought me out of the car and took off there. We, we had a first medication and uh, the chairman had to send the vehicle to rush us to the hospital. Why they evacuated um, the, the dead and, um, and that was what it was. But since i kept hearing that immediately i told the doctors look start whatever you want to start i need to leave here they said no they say you're not leaving here just wait more you don't check has it don't check what god has preserved wow he will keep israel does mm -hmm. not sleep mm -hmm. not slumber mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. kept me yeah so he knows what it wasn't I need. your time to live it is it there time. might be um internal bleeding i said no you don't understand I am not supposed to stay alive. So if there is anywhere leaking inside my system, it's sealed. So they were like, I'm crazy. They say I demand, say I get big, big wound for head. <laughs> you know. So but they didn't know when I left the hospital about 3 a.m. Same yeah. day? Yeah, same day. You left? Yeah. Wow. Left. And wow. when the crowd came the next day to visit, to check for themselves if it's true or not. I've already left. They said the hospital was choked. No space to pack. I can imagine. And um, I was really bleeding on my bed. And um, one of the finest uh, soul I had, I, I have in Nigeria sent their personal doctor. So I was having a medical in medical the house. Care in the house yeah. mm. And after that, I was flown to Abuja for proper check. And um, here you are. When I succeededly gave God two hours unstoppable praise in that same injury, I returned back to the same hospital and they were like, now you be this. Yeah. Now you be this. You are like, you are like, where, 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 the, the wound, like where the wound them? I say, no, now this one I come to dress. Look at that one. Yeah. When I went to the US, they said, if they want to start doing things here, yeah, I will pay my head off. So I did what I could do, and when they finished the treatments and everything, because that wound stayed on my body for over eight months. Wow. On my hair, mm. you know. So they did, and they now they directed me to somebody in Nigeria. You know, I was in France. From the U.S.? Yeah, oh, I was okay. in France for two weeks. Right. And we got to the U.S., stayed for a month, and we had to come to Nigeria. So only when we came back, the guy that directed me to just came back. It was the first time I had an anesthesia on my head. Wow. Chucked me a wicked pain <laughs> on my head. <laughs> so so that I would not feel the pain. Man, I was oh, really right, feeling the pain. Right. They had to open back the head. And that was how they picked bottles out of it. 
Out of your brain? Yes. Or out, out of, of my head. Score? My score. The, your score, yeah. okay. So they picked it all out and gave me a, a, an injection that would push every other stuff in there out. To the glory of God. Interesting, interesting. That, that must have been life-changing for you. Jehovah, like a life-changing experience. You are covered and keeping Interesting. God. Interesting. Absolutely. I mean, life changer. Hey. It's 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 lovely. It's lovely we to hear God. that. It's lovely to hear that. I mean, literally, it, I almost it, 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 literally, I almost want to say what um, Pastor Jerry is. would always say what, what God cannot interesting. do. And interesting, <laughs> it was in this church that I went and did that two hours praise. Oh, look at that! Look at that! I lay down on the ground and I cried. He was look asking me. Do you need this? Do you need that? I say, Papa, I'm you, strong. Mm. He said, you can't be telling me that. With these teachers, you know, Papa Jerry is just a physical lion, and the microphone, and the pulpit, and the camera. Yeah. But he's a mother. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's, he's, a, he's a woman. He's so soft. In terms of being natural. Yes, he's so soft. Mm. He's, hmm. I love but that. He's I a, love he's, that. He's a good man. I love that. Really interesting. He's a good and, and thank God for your life. So much. I mean, God is absolutely amazing. I mean, look at what also happened with Dusi and Yekla as well. Yeah. Terrible accident, but then came out alive and all of that. So it's it's interesting what God can do. So I'll just give us a little moment, you know, to absorb all of that, and then let's 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 come into this question about um, the profitability in the gospel. Um, music industry here in Nigeria primarily because wh why do I why do I um, come to this point there was a time um, on Twitter as well there was a circulation for a particular concert that was going to be happening I think in Lagos um, a, a gospel um, concert and they, they had put ticket prices so there was table for a number of persons that was VIP and then there was regular and there was an uproar you know, but from the church and secular people, why would the church start, you know, um, 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 doing things like the world? Why are we putting tickets and all of that? And that was really weird to see. And people were asking, what the gospel artists eat? <laughs> why are we comfortable paying top dollar for a Bonner Boy concert? But when it comes to a, a sensational Bamidele or Messi Chingwa or Nathana Obasi, we're like, no, 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 no. This is God's thing. We shouldn't pay money for it. So that's what I want you to talk about. How okay. has it been like, actually? The marketability, the profitability of Mama, the um, Mama, the truth is, uh, I first and foremost want to thank God for this generation. He started raising mm. men that are shutting down the O2s, shutting down the stadiums. Mm -hmm. The other time I had Pastor Jerry wanted to do a concert, um, uh, a prayer meeting mm -hmm. in London that he never wanted the hall. Just an Umaya man here. Mm -hmm. Never wanted the hall they, they, they used for that event. That He wanted the Man City Stadium, but at that point it was not available. Yeah. Such kind of fate. Mm. And let me tell you, they did that concert for two days. Those two days had an overflow, it was which packed. would have it was filled the stadium and would still an have overflow. an mm -hmm. overflow mm -hmm. for an Omaya oh man. Mm. What God cannot do truly does not exist. Mm. These are the persons that are setting the pace. It will be corrected someday. Right. I think because it has come out for an interview, so many persons are getting to notice it mm -hmm. and our destiny help us will rise up to their feet because everything look do you know that your company right now if nigeria decides to keep one thousand naira for just your company you will never go broke mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if nigeria decides okay after this person let's do for this person the whole nigeria will be rich just that little will live from the masses that are too rich mm. I can tell you there are some persons that does not even have 1,000 naira for a week. Mm -hmm. If it's a gospel concert, I'm going to share food. 
<laughs> but if it's a Bonner Boy show, that young man will put his head between barbed wires just I, to make sure yes, he sees. Yes, yes, Even yes, Mr. Yes, Bonner, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> but Nassar, I don't see him since. Mm. But I believe the change is now and it's reoccurring. Yes. Um, Moses, please. Never knew that he could even shot more than the auditorium he used, but it was filled up. I love that. So let's be celebrating these people and not be talking down on them. People's success these days, don't they make too much of envy and mm. this thing from within us? Even in the body of Christ. In the body of Christ. I'm not saying in the outside body, oh. inside the body. <laughs> inside the body. Because yeah. If you ask Pastor Jerry today now, he'll tell you, who are the most persecuting you? Who are the most persons persecuting, persecuting you, you for what today? you did? It mm. might just, it, you shock you, it might just be from pastors. Right, right. If you ask Moses, please, you may just, it might shock you, it might just be from gospel artists. Can I ask you a question? If what you, you ask think? Sensational, mm. I'll tell you too. Mm. It oh. could be from our colleagues. Right. What, what Sometimes you, you stay, you're just happy. They don't know that it is out of the abundance of your heart. Mm. They just feel, oh, you have everything. Like, just like me now, we do here. Now, this guy, we don't roll with Wiki. Uh, Wiki, go down here on 300 billion. Now, so he did. <laughs> you never walk for big man before you go your house empty. <laughs> when, when, according to one comedian, he said, when you know your destiny helper, that means God handled it there. Mm. Look at that. Some destiny helpers could be the road for you to be seen by a true destiny helper that would translate your own story. Into, I love that. Into, into what... God desires for you better than what you even desire for yourself. Right. You don't get it? Mm -hmm. So we're that, still focused. That, that is so interesting to note. And I, I just want to ask you as well, what do you think informs that blind spot in the body of Christ? Why do we always think that, why do we have a, a majority of us in the body of Christ, why do you always think we have that bias that <coughs> the giftings given, to, given from God to man should be given to us for free the same bible talks about thou shalt not muzzle the ox that feeds you so why do, why do we think that way what what do you think informs that blind my spirit? happiness is where even certain pastors might not want to even pay certain remunerations you know when people <clears throat> come to perform you know my happiness god knew all these things our lord jesus christ knew all these things before he left so that made me understood that there are so many things he would have done but probably there was no much time for him to do it mm -hmm. because his time actually has come for mm -hmm. him to transfer himself to the great. Mm -hmm. And that's why he said, Mona, no worry. <laughs> My judgment, now here it will start. I know it will start from our side. We're in trouble. Do you understand? <laughs> yes. This is the problem of old and it is still here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's simply envy, jealousy, do you know that some people would start going to climb treadmill just to pray like Pastor Jerry? God does not give same people the same energy for anything. Mm. I can sing. Pastor Jerry cannot sing like me. But how dare me say I want what they do? Hey! <laughs> I won't try it. Yeah. Sometimes when I see him do it, in front of me, in Amide faint. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, Mama, God knows all these things. And that's why he said, I will start from the church. Right. Interesting. Okay, so I'll just, like, rounding up. Because the there is a way I might just say something here, and it will be taken over. Mm -hmm. So let me just leave it. God saw them, left them. If they go kill us, he would have known. Mm. How would a man water you and he would not be watered? Interesting. And you know why it gets me so interesting? Even most pastors who ministry have been a blessing to them condemns it. Let me tell you, it's the same reason why you see their instrumental is still playing in a club. Hmm. If they were well fed and well taken care of, they, they wouldn't go they to the wouldn't club. They wouldn't be doing that. It's, it's funny that the world seems to know how to take care of their own much more than the church. But Meanwhile, why? we are meant to be able to understand because we read the Bible. More. But you wouldn't want to read the Bible where the Bible is telling you don't mess with the hawks. Right, right. You wouldn't want to read where the Bible says, He that water shall be watered. <laughs> All you know is prophet seed, prophet this. Just, prophet. Just, and do you know this prophet seed is not bigger than even the salary of uh, <laughs> a, an instrumentalist? <laughs> okay, so let me just go away from that before we get to heated. 
what has been primarily the game changer? I know you'd say God, yes, but what more sacrifice do you put consistency? In that you okay. Mm -hmm. I don't give up when the chips are down, and I still don't give up when everything goes well, goes very good. Mm -hmm. I keep doing what I do. If you want to die, do competition. Mm, comparison with all the people. But if you want to live and excel with good health, stay consistent. Stay consistent and be contented. Mm. Because you need your health mm. to celebrate your victories. I love that. I, I had someone died. A circular artist died. Yes, mobile. Yep. Mm. It could be depression. Because no matter how rich a, a, a musician is, he could be depressed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Something just happened. Oh, some um, politician just uh, gave somebody 300 million. This one, a person will be the lawyer for me. This money go make. How it be your business? Mm -hmm. I have never been mm -hmm. gifted in a manner that can change my life. Mm -hmm. I have worked perfectly for everything I've done and just few souls well, take this 2 million, take this 3 million. But I've seen gifts, car gifts, house gifts. It doesn't mean that Jesus does not love me. Mm. There's an article I read. It could be that the hand that God made those sacrifices to become a gift that would change a life is not the same hand he will use for me because I'm special. Interesting. Interesting. Let, let me ask you this question. How are you able to preserve your mental health? Because I understand that, yes, we're the body of Christ, but I know that there's still some element. I mean, you've talked about it. No, but it's not easy. It's not easy. My so mental health is not you, easy. How are you able to manage your mental health? Sometimes I just go to my family. I love my family, my wife, my kids. Right. I play with them. Mm. I play with them. Um, I get on my team, keep them in here, we play good music. I praise God. Sometimes, when you get into such shoe, even as an artist, I tell you, if they will tell you the truth, mm. you, you know, you're not going to know when you buy red wine and begin drinking, maybe just the tips. <laughs> they will, you see, they will tell you, they will tell you, you know. Yes, but you are so real. They will you tell are you. so real. Because sometimes it's very hard. <laughs> right. But I go to God, mm. as crazy as I am, mm. praise Him online. And when people are rejoicing online, who does not know what I'm going through here? Mm. It gives me joy. Right. I restabilize. I love that. Because he makes a way after death that makes me smile and tell me Beautiful. I am still the God that is directing you. Lovely. Lovely. So lovely to hear that. Okay, so lastly, let's just round it up. What words of encouragement will you give to upcoming artists, instrumentalists that are still trying to find their way around and it seems like there's no headway? Um, um, I would always want to tell them to be consistent and I always want to tell them to be courageous because we're in a world where your best friend can blow as a superstar. Your best friend can make it as a superstar. But he has never had a dime chance to carry you along. Right. He will not even have the time to invest a little on you. We know how many artists that have made name in River State and they left the state. Nobody said I never reached to relocate. By the grace of God, I, I've traveled out in and out of the country. So you might have a kingdom partner what could be you who could be me who could be Chinaye who could be Moses and suddenly Moses see or finds the light mm -hmm. and he knows Chinaye is good he knows Joseph is amazing so it would take him time to even refer him to a pastor because they don't want that same pastor to know we have another fire oh my god they don't want him to know that we have a fire somewhere probably because moses could come in 
and tell the pastor ill things about Moses um, and China. China yeah. mm. And the pastor, you know, pastors they like gossip and they believe in gossip. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to agree to that, but okay. Okay, let's say some pastors <laughs> because they never hear the truth. Thing. They never ask you. They don't believe. Yeah. And everybody will just they will just avoid you. Mm. So many things happened, and that's the reason why we have lost some champions. Mm. The time when the church will come for the person is the time they will avoid them because it's a black shit. Well, why, why do I think you're talking about Samuel Boso here? I'm not talking about him. <laughs> but okay. So you have to put on the armor of God and love yourself and encourage yourself in the same God that you believe. Mm. The Bible says if your faith could be as small as a mustard seed, say. Encourage yourself, love yourself, then go close to your family. Mm. The, 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 the crowd that loves you better, mm. you'll be good. All right. Because if they give you that thing back to back, mm. hypertension, mm. a son name, you're gone. Interesting. So if we keep referring people, when you know that this person is good and you have made it, what do you do? You do a collabo. And that collabo, like Sparrow and Tiwa, announced Sparrow. Mm. But that period, you see, we don't come up from this level. Now, yeah, we did. You see collabos from this level. Mm. Why these people? I say, ah, you, you know where we know from each other. Why you can't they do like this? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You, you've seen how quiet I am. I have. <laughs> Thank you so much and keep staying sensational. Thank you. To you out there, I'm sure you've learned one or two and I know that this interview will do you good if you listen from start to finish because there are lots of advices there, there are lots of nuggets there that you can primarily learn, especially if you are creative in the gospel sector. So. From me to you, I am Natasha Brown. This is Stav Exclusive, Stav TV. You know to follow us on all socials. Remain blessed and see you some other time. <laughs>